Hello friends, welcome to the MH Learning. This lecture and few other upcoming videos will deal with regulation of actin polymerization. And this regulation is achieved by actin binding proteins, also referred as accessory proteins of actin cytoskeleton. Till now, we have studied the idea of actin polymerization and actin treadmilling. But the last video left us with few very important questions like how enhanced treadmilling is achieved and how does the cell recharges the ADP actin dissociating from the minus end to ATP actin for assembly at the plus end. Also how the actin polymerization and treadmilling is stopped because you know it cannot be constitutively operated that means continuously occurring. In addition to these queries, we must also know about the protein machinery that initiate the nucleation of filament. Now the solution is provided by various actin binding proteins. But this tutorial will only include profiling and cofiling. So these proteins mainly function as accelerating the actin filament treadmilling process. Suppose this is the actin filament. From our previous knowledge, we know that it has two ends, the plus end and the minus end. At steady state, there is addition of monomers at plus side and loss of monomers at minus side, right? The monomers on the plus end are bound to ATP. Similarly, the actin units at the other end are attached with ADP. So, we bring our first actin binding protein, cofilin. It can bind both monomeric and filamentous actin, but specifically it binds to the ADP actin. It serves to destabilize the filament and promote the release of ADP actin monomers. That's why it's also called as actin depolymerization factor. So, how does it do so? The cofilin destabilizes the filament by inducing conformational change. This involves the production or stabilization of a twist within the filament, creating a strain that leads to the loss of filament integrity and breaks it into short pieces. This way, cofiling generates many more free minus ends and therefore accelerates the disassembly at the minus end of the filament. This process of cutting filament into pieces is called as severing. But question still remains, how does the cofilin keep the detached monomer in the off state so that the monomer doesn't recharge with ATP and repolymerize at plus end? So, for that, we have to go a bit deep into the G-actin structure. The actin has a nucleotide binding cleft. It's the site where nucleotide ATP or ADP binds, right? Now, the binding of cofilin to G-actin causes the closure of actin's nucleotide binding pocket. Okay, so what's its influence? Simply, the tight or compact pocket does not allow the exchange of ADP with ATP and hence the monomer can't be used for polymerization. Now suppose the cell has a need for actin polymerization. So for that first the cofiling needs to be removed because it's the one which is blocking ADP ATP exchange. Now, the cycle becomes more interesting when another protein known as profilin binds to the actin. Profilin accelerates assembly of actin monomers into the filament at the plus end. Let's know how. The binding of profilin to actin causes the opening of the nucleotide binding cleft. This in turn facilitates the exchange of ADP with ATP. So now we have recharged 
old actin. This polymerizable ATP actin is ready to be added at the plus end. Take home message for you is cofiling and profiling are antagonistic players. This was all. Thanks for watching.